This is nothing, Uncle. I've run the numbers. Two days, maybe less. And your office is at the bottom of a sinkhole. At least your expensive education has finally amounted to something. Told you I'd repay that loan. Bet you're wishing you'd listened to me sooner, not dismissed me as a loudmouth conservationist. Master Jedi, Lemda told me of your incredible rescue. Words cannot convey my thanks. We suspected McKeb was becoming unstable, but I had no idea things were this bad. We never should have let the Hutt cartel establish their mining operation. You held back a lot of bad news, Shalem. Why didn't you tell us about the planet's instability? I didn't want to cause a panic. The Keb's people must stand together. Only through unity can we overcome this crisis. Know what doesn't help right now? Speeches. Unless I'm talking. The regulators who held me hostage were a chatty bunch. Mostly filthy language and bragging about their blasters, but the leader said something interesting. He mentioned Project Failsafe, a hut emergency plan if their mining went wrong. That mercenary believed the huts have something to instantly stabilize Makeb. Did the mercenary say anything else about Project Failsafe? Where it is? How it works? The conversation dried up when we started attacking their camps. Not that I'm ungrateful. Millions could die while we wait for the huts to act. We need to claim Project Failsafe for ourselves before it's too late. To Laos City. The Hut Embassy database. Hylasov's right. Data on Project Failsafe would be stored in the Hut Embassy's computers in Talao City. Unfortunately, that's under cartel control. We need Chief Herkwil, Talao City's former security commander. He and a few loyal men have a hidden camp outside the city. They'll get you inside the city and embassy. How does a security chief know the way into the Hut Embassy? Herkwil set up the Hut's original defenses. He built it. He knows how to break it. The Huts control Talao City and the surrounding area. They'll have to land a shuttle in the countryside. Expect plenty of regulators. Chief Herkwell's camp is hidden with these coordinates. Don't die. You're all we've got. Chief Herkwell? Shalem Avesta sent us. He says you know a way into the Hut Embassy. If I'd known a Jedi war hero was coming, I'd have cleaned myself up and made some lunch. Hut Embassy's locked up tight. Used to have a fancy pants bureaucrat helping us inside, Representative Eklund. But he's gone quiet. Probably dead. Good news is, the cartel hasn't changed anything at their embassy. Got the same turrets, droids, passcodes I set up for them. Lazy Huts. When this is all over, we'll have to thank the Huts for making our job simple. They may be stupid, but they're still pretty good at killing folks. You want inside the Hut Embassy, you'll have to finesse three layers of security. First layer is heavy turrets in the courtyard. The only good thing to come out of these ground quakes is that they expose the turret power generators. Overload those, and turrets lose their punch. I doubt the Huts left those generators unguarded. How hard will it be to reach them? City's under curfew. Streets are crawling with hut loyal regulators. Security layer two is the embassy's main door. Three meters of reinforced durasteel. Even a lightsaber would take hours to cut through. But the door will unlock for a diplomatic passcode. You can generate one by accessing the government building's secure terminal. There have to be regulators on the street carrying passcodes. We'll be fighting them anyway, right? Only top officers get into the embassy. You won't find them patrolling the streets. Last but not least are the security droids. Top of the line Arcanian models. Nasty disposition. Shoot intruders on sight. Good news is they can be reprogrammed. The droid control station in my old security HQ will do the trick. We could use some allies. Those droids will do nicely. We'll take it from here, Chief. Hit those objectives and I guarantee you'll get inside the embassy. Whether you find your answers is a different matter. If Representative Eklund's still alive, maybe help him escape? He's a fuss budget, but basically all right. I'll keep a comm channel open when I can.
Sir, I've asked Chief Herkwell three times. They can't spare anyone. Will you please come back now? Nah, it's practically cozy out here. So Herkwell's men aren't an option. There's gotta be someone else back there with you. Use your eyes, Cash. There's a Jedi right there, Master Jedi. Can we have a minute? Cash Zarin, Logistics Specialist Tefani. We're with the Protectors, Republic Med Corps, 2nd Battalion. Official evacuation forces for frightened civilians everywhere. Nice to see a friendly face in this chaos. How can I help you, Tefani? But everyone says Jedi are cold. For starters, we could use that lightsaber of yours. Big seismic event coming up. We're talking big enough to devour Talao City. Gotta get those people out now if we're gonna beat the clock. Problem is, Talao City's on lockdown. The Huts have turned all the keys and put the regulators on street patrol. I think one of them's eyeing me now. Keep your head down and don't engage. I'll be there as quick as I can. No, no, I'm fine. Me and a couple scouts got ourselves a nice piece of cover. The regulators aren't a problem for me. They're a problem for our evac. They're sitting guard on some buildings at the corner of Crown Quake and Epicenter. If the quake hits where the buildings are still full, well, it'll definitely lower the property values. We need the mercs out of our way so we can evacuate. Just point me towards the buildings, and those mercs will be history. I'll transmit you coordinates as soon as the seismic scan is done. Uh-oh. Better hang on to something. That was a warning, and we're not getting another. Cash, get the speeders ready. Our reinforcements will clear the mercs and get inside the buildings. Once you're in, hit the emergency alarm. The sieves will run out, the speeders will pick them up, and we'll all meet back here to shake hands. Sound good? I'm usually on the front lines. It's rare I get to rescue civilians. Captain's always looking for new recruits. Here are the coordinates. Speeders are fueled up and ready to go. We'll be in position when you are. Lightsaber jerk. Come on, everyone. Single file. Not too fast, not too slow, either. Get your hands off me, blasted Republic interlopers! I know my rights! I'm not going anywhere! 
Well, I'll be a Wookiee's uncle. I knew we'd find your building sooner or later. It's Roop, isn't it? Why? Gonna steal my identity too? Roop and his family are old friends. They send the Protector strongly worded hollow messages before every Maccab evac. Seems the Huts promised them bonus pay if they stayed inside. Roop here thinks we're trying to cheat him out of his credits. What do the Huts gain by making their workers stay in dangerous areas? Our combined weight helps maintain a structural integrity. Or something. I could name ten things wrong with that sentence. Half of them aren't even engineering related. The rest of you can cut and run if you like. But me and mine are staying right here. It's quadruple overtime, people! Need you outside, sir. One of the speeders blew a hover pad on the way back. Talk them down, will you? Or bribe them. We're good for it. Meet you back at base. You show me an order from Vice Commandant Grevin, my foreman, or Tavoro himself. Otherwise, I'm not moving. There's no more time to argue about this. What will it take to make you leave this building? I want my bonus. Unless you've raided the hot treasury, I know you don't have it. The Republic will compensate you for your lost bonus pay, whatever percentage you want. All right, how about a little now to prove it? Ow, you weren't kidding. It doesn't matter to me where the creds come from. Point me towards the exit. Stefani, looks like your reinforcements are back. What a performance, Master Jedi. If we had ten more of you, the war would be over tomorrow. 100% of the building's occupants were rescued and accounted for. That's what I call a good day at the office. You're a pleasure to work with, Tefani. The Protectors can call on me any time. No point in doing anything unless you're having fun, right? Talos City should be pretty well cleared in a few hours, thanks to you. I had Cash put a little something together to show our appreciation. Better get back to it. Next evac means repairing a light bridge. A bridge made of light! What'll they come up with next? Code will open the embassy's main doors.
Embassy's all yours. Mind you step in there. Acknowledging to light and code. Greetings, Senior Command Unit 223. Just a routine security inspection? You passed just fine, but I need to... check the rest of the Embassy. Acknowledged. Feel free to inspect the Embassy. You will find everything in order. I'm an unarmed civilian, Representative Eklund with the McKeb Provisional Authority Council. I'm the official liaison to the Hut Cartel. Whatever you need, I'll make sure you get it. Just don't hurt me. I won't hurt you. I'm a Jedi. I'm here to free McKeb from the Hut Cartel's occupation. You've been talking to Shalem and Chief Herquil. We don't need to be free. We need to survive! Like it or not, the Hut control McKeb now. Our only option is to cooperate, make the best of our new situation. Instead, Shalem stirs up trouble. He doesn't realize how much worse the Huts could make things for us. Your emotions are blinding you to the truth. The Huts are drilling into Makeb's core. They've destabilized the entire planet. Now you're the emotional one. A few ground quakes and suddenly it's the end of the world? It doesn't even make sense. The Huts are here on the planet too. If Makeb is destroyed, they die with it. Geological readings show this planet is coming apart. But we think the Huts have a project fail-safe to deal with the situation. Knowing Shalem, you'll risk anything to find it. Well, I'll save some lives and help quash this rumor for good. If this project fail-safe exists, there must be some record of it in the Embassy's archives. I'll get you access to them. But the Huts are on high alert. They've already summoned reinforcements. You'll have to deal with them. I'll meet you in the archive room. Just do your part and leave the guards to me. I don't want you getting hurt. The guards won't target me. That's why I prefer to travel separately. You worry about those reinforcements. I'll make sure we can access the hot archives. Good luck! i 
Security protocols have been disabled. Eklund came through. Almost. I ran when I heard the fighting. Let me finish this. The hut in charge on the keb is named Taboro. If Project Failsafe exists, there should be some reference to it in his communication logs. I assume you've met Taboro. What's your take on him? He isn't your typical hut. Quick profits matter less to him than long-term gains. Here, a hollow from someone named Vidrig has a Project Failsafe tag. Let's see what it says. Greetings, O oh great and glorious Taboro. I'm happy to report that Project Failsafe is both on schedule and under budget. Your Grand Arc is approaching completion. Ever met this Vidrig before? He sounds like a used speeder salesman. I've heard the name once, but this is the first I've seen of him. Hideous fellow. As these schematics illustrate, the Ark's ingenious outer layer will completely shield the vessel and its precious contents from Makeb's atmospheric unpleasantness. The cargo hold will store your entire Isotope 5 stockpile, while your chosen few companions travel in luxurious comfort on the Ark's upper decks. The huts don't have a way to save Makeb from breaking apart. They're just planning to leave the planet before that happens. You're on your own. They'll abandon us? Leave everyone to die? That's... that's monstrous! Mighty Taboro, may I suggest replacing the standard passenger cabins with deluxe suites more suited to a hut of your stature? I can easily add them before the Ark's completion. This hollow is recent. Vidric is still building the Ark. That means there's time to steal it for ourselves and evacuate the planet. Based on the schematics, we'll have room for the whole population if we convert the cargo hold to carry passengers. There are only so many places the huts could hide such a massive project. We have to find it. Maybe there's another hollow from Vidric saying where he set up his construction site. Nothing that obvious. But if I dig deep enough, I'm sure I'll find something. I'll scour these archives and transmit everything I find to Shalem. Given the circumstances, I feel rather unsafe remaining here. There's a shuttle pad nearby. If you remove the guards and unlock the shuttles, we could all fly away safely. Guess my advice worked, huh? Shalem told me to patch you through right away. We're already analyzing the project failsafe plans Representative Eklund transmitted to us. They're sickening. To borrow the HUD is masterminding the greatest crime in galactic history. With Vidric's Ark, they'll escape Makeb and leave us all to die. We can't let that happen. The Deveronian is more salesman than soldier. If we pressure him, he'll turn against the huts and give us the Ark. No doubt Vidric's sticking close to his project until he's paid. I matched the Ark's construction site map to topographic readings. The Ark's being built at a secret facility inside the giant sphere. That's a big tourist trap, a mesa with a hollow interior. Too dangerous to colonize, but perfect for hiding an Ark's construction. There's no way the Huts could have started a major construction project inside a planetary landmark without attracting attention. We closed all access to the giant sphere out of safety concerns months ago. At Taboro's urging, he duped us. Contact me when you're the giant sphere. I'll help you plan this attack. 
Won't be an easy fight. Don't look at me. I've got a city to evacuate. Good luck. <laughs> 